Professor Anders Erbeck, member of the Nobel Committee for Physics. Please, could you summarize this year's physics prize for us? I would say that it is uh, about foundations in the field of artificial ne neural networks, which has become, well, the main method in machine learning. Uh, foundations that uh, come from physics with uh, idea built on ideas and methods from physics. Will you develop that a little bit more, what these particular two, the laureates, have done respectively? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to John Hopfield, who was first, he, I should perhaps say that John Hopfield was already before the prize, a uh, towering figure in biological physics, had looked at other problems, but now he became interested in neural networks. And he created a model uh, with elements of it was similar to what one has in magnetic uh, models in physics, but this was a new thing for neural networks. And it was, uh, it was good because it put together different elements. It was, he gave the network a clear function and it worked after, according to clear principles. Mm -hmm. All right. And created what part? Was this sort of the memory part? Yes, yes. This was the associative memory. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And the other laureate? Uh, Jeffrey Hinton. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. He, very soon afterwards, he uh, created uh, a, mo a model directly based on, or it based on the Hopfield network, but he changed so that the focus was now not on individual memories, individual patterns, but on statistical distributions of patterns. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Th that was one thing in the 80s by uh, Jeffrey Hinton. He also created a uh, a learning algorithm for what is called feed multi-layered networks, feed forward multi-layered networks. And what could that do? Uh, so the whole idea then in an artificial neural network is that I have my system of nodes or neurons. They are connected by co uh, couplings of and those can have different strength and one that in order to achieve some function one has to train these, the, the network uh, on many examples and training means that one tries to determine good values for these couplings and this is complex because there are a lot of couplings in such a network and he, he uh, Hinton created learning algorithms for this Holzman machine and for multi-layer feed-forward structures. And that were two very important contributions. And these are some important contributions for what we today call AI, artificial intelligence. Will you tell me something about how this, I think we've all heard about it, but what would you say are the most important ways this affects us today? <laughs> in many, many ways, so in, in uh, uh, not least in science, in uh, physics and other scientific field, fields. It, and in physics, these tool, tools based on artificial network, they have been around for quite some time, already before it became deep learning, it, there were many, many useful tools, and now as the artificial neural uh, network tools get more and more powerful, we, we steadily see new applications. And uh, material science, modeling in material science is one important example. And outside physics, uh, it, was, uh, it was pointed out by Hinton himself in the interview, but certainly healthcare is a very important area. It is already a 
very good tool for analysis of medical images of different kinds. Mm -hmm. uh, now we just heard Jeffrey Hinton here in the press conference saying he was flabbergasted. Is there anything personal you know about the laureates uh, that you would like to share with us? Mm, no, maybe not actually. I mean, uh, personal, I, I wouldn't say. No, no. Uh, uh, they have both been really, I think, true pioneers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, finding new ways to tackle problems. How would you? Um, would you tell us in a sentence or two just um, why you are excited about awarding the prize to this particular field this year? I think it is fantastic to, to create a completely new way of computing and see how it develops into such a powerful tool. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Anders Irvek, member of the Nobel Physics Committee. Yeah, thank you.